Hello everyone, so I am back with another Barbie doll review and kind of a collection update. So, but first I'm going to be reviewing this Mattel Fairytopia Sparkle Fairy doll. So this was a doll I recently found in a, in a Barbie haul that I recorded recently, or a video I made. And she is all clean and she has most of her stuff except her shoes and her book. But I'm not bummed out about the shoes since she's a fairy and she doesn't really need them. So what the Sparkle Fairies basically were is they were Fairytopia fairies that were like glittery and different colors. Like they didn't have natural colors, like they didn't have flesh skin tones or anything. So there was a pink one, a blue one, and a purple one, and they all had pretty much the same exact look with like different details. So the spark this sparkle fairy has shimmery iridescent sort of pink skin. She has this glitter top and then here's her floral skirt and she has lots of details going on like the flower design around the waist. These little streamers that come down. Her skin is completely glitterified. And there's her face. I'll give you an up close of her face. She has really pretty purple eyes, pink makeup, very shimmery. Really, really pretty. <clears throat> I like her little light beam that she has down there in her eye. But yeah, she's got two different types of um, pink makeup on, eye makeup. I love how shimmery the lips are. And she has purple eyeshadows, I believe. They're like a purple pink. She has glitter tinsel in her hair. And her hair is curly. The hair was done up. But of course, since her hair was not in the original style, I decided to leave it down. <clears throat> What's cool about these dolls is they do have wings. And you can actually pop them off. And you could like interchange and like swap them out and stuff. And like if you take the doll and you move her, you can actually cause her wings to flutter. So there's no mechanism in her back or anything to cause her wings to flutter. But you can just like move her and very lightly they will. So they're like plastic, <clears throat> a plastic structure, I guess you will, on the inside. And then the rest of the wing is mesh with glitter and all these different designs. And they all came with the same exact wings, if I'm not mistaken. It's funny about these dolls, like, I don't really remember how her wings looked when I got her or when I found her. But I've seen some where the wings, you see how the wings are like bigger at the top and small at the bottom like a butterfly is. I've actually seen some pictures of these and I'm not sure if I've seen any in the box. But I've seen some where the bigger parts on the bottom, sometimes one wing is bigger on the bottom and another is, is an, one's big on the bottom and the other one's big on the top. So it's kind of reversed and sometimes both wings are reversed. So I don't know what the deal with that is, but <clears throat> I actually changed mine to be that way. So that's the review of her. And as for the collection, note, I've gotten, I usually buy Barbies and bundles from thrift stores, eBay, stuff like that. I haven't shopped on eBay in a long time, mainly because I keep moving around. But a lot of times I get duplicates. I usually don't seek out duplicates of dolls unless it's like if I see one and it's a variant of one that I already have, like she looks really different from the one I already have, then I will usually buy a duplicate just for the sake of them looking different. But a lot of times I get dolls in lots, bundles, at thrift stores, so, and usually they're such a good deal I can't pass up, so I do usually wind up getting duplicates, so here they are. <clears throat> Note, they are not as, as in good condition as she is in. I will also mention, they also do have another streamer like this. That's mesh, but it tends to, uh, they tend to come off. But here's my other ones. <clears throat> so I do have all of them. 
I used to have a blue one, like a another blue one a long time ago, but I gave her to somebody and then they threw her away, which was really mean, so. But she has her skirt, but she does not have her wings. And I actually found one in a thrift store a long time ago that actually had one wing and she had her skirt, but I passed up on her. The thing about the blue haired one, and this is why she's my least favorite, is because her hair color. Her hair is supposed to be relatively close to what her lips are or almost her skin tone, if not a little bit darker. But over time, her hair has gone this greenish color, like this discolored, but it's supposed to be, I guess, like this color down here, except darker, or like her top, there we go. It's supposed to be like that, but it has discolored to this greenish sort of, and that was like my other one too. Her, I gave her away simply because her hair was super discolored, worse than this one's hair, and she was turning yellow and stuff. <clears throat> so I figured maybe my friend could do something with her, but of course they wound up getting rid of her. So, but there's the blue one and she's pretty much all blue. She's got teals and blues and pastel colors. Real, her, her face is amazing. And here's my other pink ones. So she was the first one. She was the second one, which I found at the Goodwill. She has the most dramatic looking face, I feel. And then she has the most like innocent looking face. Like you can see their faces kind of look different from one another. And this purple one, she came in a lot on eBay that had a bunch of fairy topia dolls and stuff. So I fixed her up. She was a train wreck when I found her. She is no longer a fairy anymore because her nose was nipped off. So I sanded her nose down and I looked at it and I was like, she looks kind of like an alien now. So I put her in this skirt. I had her in some shoes, so she is an alien now because of her nose. She has an alien-like nose now. But her face is, her makeup, the way they stamped her eyes, really flawless. And I like how her hair turned out. But she has green eyes. Here's my other one, which is so, so cool. But as you can see, their, their tops are different cuts. So she has a sweetheart cut. The pink one has sort of this ruffly look. And the blue one is just like straight across. And then she doesn't have any straps. So yeah. That is my review and collection of these lovely, lovely... Fairytopia sparkle fairies. I just think they're so fantasy like and so mystical and elegant and just so fun. I love how shimmery they are. I love things that shimmer and sparkle and things that are colorful. So they were perfect for my Barbie collection. So, anyhow, thank you guys for watching. More videos to come and remember to stay true to you.